The biggest disadvantage to being fat is how careful you have to be when you move. You have all this extra weight, and if you move wrong, you could really fuck up your knees, you could fuck up your back, you could fuck up your hips. If you fall, you can break your arms if you use your arms to try to stop you from falling. Uh, you know, you, you gotta be so careful. I, I have a friend who broke both of his arms. Heavy guy. Not even as heavy as I am now. Broke both his arms. He tripped, tried to catch himself uh, when he fell and broke his arms. I initially was saying that the main thing would be vocals, you know, not being able to have endurance when it comes to my vocals, but it's that element of, of having to be so damn careful so yeah, I don't hurt myself. And someone sent me a link to a video where people are trying to guess someone's race uh, based off the way they dance. I, I can leave a link to that. It, it, since I mentioned it, I might as well leave a link to it in the description bar. And I thought that was an entertaining video. And I don't really know what to say about it, but it. every time I see anything that has to do with dance now, it, it makes me think about, well, you know, that's something I can look forward to being able to do again. Um, in high school, I was kind of like a Napoleon Dynamite. I was really awkward. But instead of like being D&D &D that I'd focus on, it was music. I performed, I sung, uh, I performed in front of the whole school uh, every year at pep assemblies. And last year, the last year I performed a song that I had written myself. So, but uh, during a prom, um, there's this point where I just started dancing. I just wanted to have a good time and started dancing. And I had this circle forming around me. They're just going, wow, I never, I didn't know Brandon could do that. If you want, my, my previous name before I had it legally changed to Kazoom was Brandon. It was Brandon Fowler. But uh, I had just thinking about that stuff. I mean, you know, I, I used to really enjoy dancing. And I, I miss that. And I look forward to being able to do that again. I may indeed go below the, the 220 that I was saying. I may indeed go, go lower than that. Um maybe like 180 or something. There's there's just so much that I, I used to enjoy that I just sort of took for granted and, and just haven't... Some of this stuff has been so long, I guess I would think about it as, oh, that's something you do when you're young. Well, no, that's something you do when you're thinner. I definitely look forward to having a lot more endurance when I'm walking without being out of breath. So I could do, you know, some walking videos and you're not hearing me go, <sighs> you know. The last time that I got more thin, I didn't, I didn't take advantage of any of that stuff. None of it. And that's weird. Something I was looking at last night that was making me think about it was how I am, I am about the, about the same distance, about the same amount of time to get to Baltimore, Maryland, as going to uh, Philadelphia. I'm like, hmm. And I started looking at pictures of like gay bars and the main focus was dance. And it just, it looked fun. But it wouldn't be that fun for me now. 
Not now. But it may be in the future. So, yeah, endurance. I'm looking forward to endurance. Looking forward to being able to dance again. And there's... There's a bit of stigma in our society where, you know, it, it's just, there's something negative looked at at dancing. And maybe it's maybe I'm just imagining that there's a stigma about it. You know, oh, that's not masculine. Dancing isn't masculine. Realizing how much I have put myself in a box in that regard. Just kind of weird. Just something I was thinking about. And maybe this video doesn't really mean anything, but it did to me.